Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. I am back today working on another one of the apartments in the custom building that I created earlier this week. Uh, I will have that link down below if you haven't seen it yet where I created the shell of an apartment building using just the base game and I am now going through and furnishing all the apartments. I believe this is the second one I'm sharing on the channel and this apartment is actually for a couple of roommates in university who are a bit on the messy side. I had so much fun decorating this one. I've been decorating all of them over on Twitch. If you'd like to join and be part of the process, I have a couple more to decorate next week. Uh, I do stream over on twitch.tv slash misgraffy at 6 p.m. Eastern time, three days a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Uh, so I would love to have you join us. Anyway, uh, this floor plan came together really quickly. I am doing a different floor plan in all of the apartments, even though they're essentially the same shape just because I think it's a little bit more fun that way and I can have a little bit more creative freedom on how I want to decorate each space and where everything's located. I just think it's more fun than having the repetitive-ness uh, of having it all in <laughs> the same spots. So uh, for this one, you walk in into a little kitchen slash entryway and I'm using outdated fixtures from base game. I really like these counters that I'm using in this space. I mixed and matched the base game ones and the ones from City Living because City Living is awesome because it has the same base game counter except some of them are more run down and they're for those like needs TLC apartments. So I think mixing and matching them is really nice so that only some of the cabinets have like scuff marks and stuff on them. I thought it was kind of cool like that. So anyway, when you first walk in, there is, uh, you know, a separate little room that leads you into this kitchen that also has like a washer and dryer and stuff in it. And you'll see that the colors in this kitchen changed so many times. It was very indecisive. But once I found the correct wallpaper, it all came together. Basically, I ended up switching the color of the counters to the blue swatch, which I don't think I've ever used. And immediately it just felt exactly how I wanted it to look. Because at this point I was like, oh, it's kind of cute, but I feel like it's not giving off the vibe I want, which is you know, a little bit of an outdated student's apartment. I've been in a lot of these apartments, like ones on campus and stuff, and this just wasn't feeling quite right yet, but we do get there in the end. I really hope you will enjoy it. If you do, by the way, once all of these apartments are done, I will make sure to have this up for download on the gallery. I'm not doing them individually because it's like one big building I created, but the shell of the building is already up on the gallery, the base game shell. So if you want to, you know, decorate them all for yourself, that is already up there. I'd love to see what you do with them. Please tag me on Twitter. I'm Miss Griffey over there. Um, but once I finish all of these apartments, I will upload a version to the gallery that has all of them furnished. So it's not up there yet, but when you'd like to grab it, it will be available under my origin ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find that under the hashtag Miss Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So at this point, I haven't changed the swatches yet, but I am cluttering it up and I love it. And this is the swatch change. Oh, it looks so much more like I, how I wanted it to. The uh, tiles that we have on the walls in here, they are so ugly, but I like love them so much. Of course, I had to have the cutting boards in here. I really like the table and chairs I chose. And something about adding this little light on the side of the fridge brought me so much joy. So I had to do that. Also over here, I'm cluttering up some of these shelves, but I actually ended up moving these because I knocked down this wall just because it felt a little bit more closed off than I wanted it to be. So <laughs> you'll see the same clutter ends up staying, but moves to the other side of the room. Just a weird little decision I made. I also really enjoyed adding the like pizza boxes and all of that. I just ha think having some like takeout and messy clutter around was really cool. Added a little side table over here with a like calendar up above it. Somebody left their phone by the door. I also made sure to add a hamper in here. I often forget to add hampers when I add washers and dryers for some reason, but I did add it in this one, so I was pretty happy about that. And I just realized I haven't talked about what the Sims living in this apartment are yet. Like what their personalities are like, maybe their majors, their interests, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, it'll come to be pretty obvious once we get to their bedrooms, but uh, we were thinking that one of the students was a science major and the other one is a art major who's on the football team. So I had so much fun with that idea. I think that's just one you don't hear about too often, mixing those two 
ideas together. Uh, so I really enjoyed doing something for an artsy sim who also plays football. Uh, I love that bedroom. So I can't wait for you to see it. I think it's the last one we decorate. I'm pretty sure we decorate the science room first, which I also think comes out super cute. And I just thought it was a fun dynamic for the Sims sharing an apartment. They have such different majors, but uh, I don't know if they were like friends before college. They met in college. Maybe, you know, that they met because they were going to be rooming together. I have no idea. I think it's just a really interesting idea. And you could probably place down this apartment building in, um, what is the name of that world? Brightchester, if you wanted, but your, your Sims could just live here and commute to college. I feel like that's totally fine as well. Uh, but I did add a periodic table in the living room, a little nod to the science major. I just thought it looked nice in here and I wanted some stuff that was, you know, a nod to their personalities and their majors, not just in their bedrooms. Uh, and I also have like some older furniture and this makeshift books, uh, book, I almost called it a book side table. This makeshift bookcase from university is so good. Just a bunch of piping and chunks of wood that's raised up off the floor with cinder blocks. I just love the idea of that. So that definitely made its way into here. I also have a like poster up above it or like a flag, which is for Foxbury Institute. I'm not really sure which school these Sims go to, but I thought it looked nice there. You could easily switch the swatch to be for Brightchester instead. Uh, but I thought having a little bit of school pride in the space made sense. Just like random stuff you tack up on the walls. Anyway, we have moved on into the bedroom for our science major now. And I knew I wanted to have the elements collection here as well as the skeleton, which is from Get to Work for the science career. Um, but I also realized we had this little table that has all sorts of like little experiment stuff on it from Strangerville. So I scaled that down and raised it up. So it looks like there's, you know, stuff all over this Sims desk that they are working on. I also gave them a laptop and they have more of a green themed room based on this bed from high school years, which I just thought looked really nice in this space. And uh, I, I liked the personality I came up with for this Sim. I feel like I don't decorate rooms very often for Sims who are more into the sciences. Uh, that's not something that comes to mind that often, which I, you'd, you'd be surprised that it isn't because for whatever reason, and th this was very surprising to me when I first started getting more active on Twitch and streaming on Twitch, but pretty much my whole chat are science majors or practicing scientists. And I, <laughs> I thought that that was such a strange thing that that's like what everyone that's in that community is. Um, and it's so fascinating to me. And so, of course, I had to create a dorm room that represented them. Uh, and I loved the cow plants that I have up above the desk. I don't decorate the desk too much because it already looks pretty cluttered with all of like the experiments and stuff. They have some ribbons up on the wall as well. I thought maybe they had some interest in some sort of like racing anime. So I put that up on the wall and I also have like the the planets. <laughs> I was just grabbing like all of the sciency posters I could find, but I like to add like a little something into rooms to make it so it's not just that, hence why I have like the racing poster. I thought that, that was kind of cool. Uh, but this bedroom is going to be the one for the artist who is also on the football team. So I, I don't know what it was about this one, but it just made me so happy because we were trying to figure out what to do. Uh, somebody had mentioned art, somebody had mentioned football or like sports in general. And I was thinking about both of those and I was like, I feel like I do both of those a lot. But then I realized I could combine them. And that was just such a cool idea in my opinion. So I did add that like little artist table next to the bedside table or as a bedside table next to the bed. And I decided to put the football like in the paint tray, which I thought was kind of cute. And we're just getting a nice rug down here. We have lots of like artsy posters on the walls as well. Lots of canvases over here. I'm going to get some more sports posters as well. And I just think it looks so cool. I really love this bedroom. Uh, so grabbing those now. And I'm trying to think what else we end up putting in here. Because I know I was trying to go all out with this theme. Oh, yeah, the, the random like sports clutter on the floor as well. And a couple of other other posters. We, we have a basketball one, but I really liked the succulent one. I, I guess it's just a cactus poster, but it's super cute. And I also added the little succulents over on the dresser, some messy clutter on the floor. So this sim is not the like cleanliest 
And then I also have some bikes out on the front porch and then in the back porch, uh, I wanted to create a hangout space for them. So we do have the like keg out here. Um, but also I started putting these beanbag chairs and somebody in chat suggested that we needed the bubble blower from City Living. So I was like, yes, we do. Uh, so I think this is a really fun apartment. There's a lot of activities for your Sims to do. You could probably throw some fun parties here for your other university friends and uh, just have a good space to hang out, make some friends. Also, maybe do some studying. That might be a good idea as well. Uh, but that is pretty much it for like the living spaces and the bedrooms. We're just decorating the bathroom now using the same tiles that I did use in the kitchen. It's just a pretty simple, small bathroom. I feel like I'm going to be saying that in every video in this series of decorating this apartment because there's not a lot of room for a bigger bathroom unless I only did a one bedroom apartment, which maybe I will do. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see that. But yeah, just decorating the sink, getting some like toothpaste and stuff, using a lot of items from the bathroom clutter kits. And then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this apartment renovation. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and click that bell to be notified when new videos go live. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the screenshots. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.